How's it everybody, Celtic Link here, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. In today's video we have a special challenge run. We are taking on the Ultimate Red Zone Broly using the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4's full power team. Like I told you, King Piccolo was the old man. This is not gonna end like it did before. All right, so this was a challenge issued to us by a good friend of the channel, uh, Greg Daw, over on YouTube and Twitter, and is basically trying to showcase that these units do have a bit of tech outside of their own tier heroes team, right? That's one of the always the big criticisms of the heroes units. Ah, they're only good on heroes. Well, the idea behind this challenge was to show that, you know, they can't be used on a team outside of that um i think goku's is a little bit harder than vegeta's as you'll see we got another showcase coming this week where we use vegeta's team to take down omega um but uh this challenge was definitely hard but i did appreciate it and i realize only now that we probably shouldn't have gone for the 12 key here um because one of the conditions is that we have to keep Goku's passive up constantly. So, um, we're, we're gonna have to rotate off the Vegeta here because I want to get, um, Vegeta on the other rotation because I do see Gohan coming in at slot 7 and it's probably better to keep Gohan away from floating so he can get his super attack build. Um, so we're gonna float Vegeta so it does mean we have you know, kind of one quick turn without a without this Goku's passive up, but he'll get it up. Right. Time to go all out. Forget about destroying this world. I won't let it happen. So yeah, this will be our rotation with the our limit breaker Goku, who is rainbowed, and our limit breaker Vegeta, who's also rainbowed. So they'll be on this rotation um, with the. World Tournament Goku and Birdku eventually being floated off. But we're going to take some time to get Birdku a little bit of build. He's here mostly just so uh, in case we need that quick revive for the World Tournament Goku, right? Because as we know, he does get much, much better post-revive. So if we do need his revive, we're going to take it here. Um, hopefully, I mean, strategy-wise, the best place for this to happen is the... Um, str phase right because like if we can get a couple hits in in the str phase and then do it it'll be a lot better I will defeat you. but i think that's really going to depend on how much damage we do this phase and how much damage we end up actually taking all right so let's see here grab this with piccolo Ooh, not quite enough. It'll still get us the 20 key. Hopefully we can drop the additional super here. Get two supers this turn. Honestly, Gohan being slot 7 is probably the best thing for him, right? Because then we get to keep his passive just a tad bit longer. Might help us through the STR phase. Now, what we really need is that extra super here. Hopefully we can get it. Uh, we get a normal. Okay. Alright, well, at least the friend limit breaker here is going to get a bit of attack, and at least those attacks are post-super. So we know he'll be safe. He won't have to take too many damage, especially on this turn, because he does have the part of his passive um, for having two full power units on here, but he doesn't have the Vegeta part. Uh, basically, the only time he'll ever have Vegeta part is when he floats on that other one. All right, so we've got our rotation set up now. So this Goku will always have his passive up. Vegeta will always be on this rotation no matter what. So looking at the damage, though, that we're about to deal, I am a bit worried about reviving with Birdku. Um, we don't really care about no iteming this. I've, I've tried a few times to get the no item. It's, it's hit or miss. It's very, very difficult to do uh, because... Uh, the unfortunate reality of these guys is they do want to be run together, 
but neither one is good in slot one. Like, Goku, even fully built up, is not the greatest in slot one. Like, he still takes 100k from Broly normals, um, which is why, like, the ideal heroes team for them uses Gohan and Super Saiyan 3 Goku in slot one, while this guy is slot two with your Vegeta's floating. Um, so, we'll, we'll see if we can actually do this, but, so, we're... We're going to go ahead and Whis it up. Like I said, we're not trying to no item this. This will allow us to survive the turn. Maybe we'll get lucky and only Piccolo has to take the super here. Um, and Gohan and uh, Goku can nullify the super if we're lucky. It's a coin toss for both of them. 50%, I think. But this will also let our world tournament Goku get some build in. Yeah, so on their release, full power was a pretty wonky category, and to, to be fair, it still is, but there's a lot of units that have released since the Limit Breakers release that allow full power to work a little bit better. Again, it's we still got to do a bit of protection because they're all on the 170 lead, and while this rotation might be solid, we still have to worry about the Limit Breakers. And I am amazed he didn't actually super this turn, which means he's supering this turn? Okay, so let's see here. Let's do this number. Let's do that. Uh, I wonder where that super is. All right, lucky us it isn't slot one, so that's helpful. Although something tells me Vegeta is taking that super pre-super, which is not good. But hey, we get the double super out of our Goku. We did build our Goku for uh, additionals, so that's good. We're not quite getting the crit. There we go. Now we'll be good. <laughs> now he's fully built up. All right, so we do have a full superhero team here, which means this Vegeta's full passive is up, which means we should be able to get a couple attacks. And there goes the super, okay. Well, at least it's post super, which means we shouldn't take too much damage. Um, at least on the Gokus, we should be fine. Vegeta takes 100k, yeah. So pre-super, that would have definitely killed us. Okay, excellent. Alright, so... Really bad orb placement here. Okay, but... We're gonna put Gohan in front. We need that super attack out of him. Um, World Tournament Goku will probably kill him. So, we'll take this. And just hope that the two attacks in front of Gohan are not supers. <laughs> I guess that's what we do here. Ooh. Okay, that's a lot. Okay, not good. All right, well, World Tournament Goku's going to finish it off, but uh, this is a little bit scary because we're about to finish the SCR phase, and we have not revived yet. Um, well, actually, that's not that big of a deal because Goku will have his type advantage guard against Broly, so we don't have too much to worry about. So maybe the, uh, maybe the revive will come in clutch uh, after. Okay, but we are entering the uh, first phase with Piccolo's active skill. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and giant form it. Thank you, Shenron. That little extra went a long way. That was the warm up. I'm just getting started. All right, so. Let's grab that. Nice, we get the 24 key. So we're gonna have to take that. There we go, but we got set up on the third one. We'll take that. Okay, so hopefully we can actually pull off three turns here. That would be best case scenario. Um, because then we can do a whole lot of damage. Like we're, I mean, we're gonna need all advantages in our favor that we can get, um, unfortunately. Alright, there goes the super. Okay. 
Let's see, can we do this? Ah, we really need those additional supers too. I'm really regretting not buying that tube of Piccolo now to have him at 79%. Ooh, good thing we giant form. This was a two super turn. Okay, excellent. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, we can take that. We don't really need to worry about setting anybody up this turn. We'll worry about setting up uh, with our keys here next turn. So we get three 18 keys this time. Uh, so we'll do quite a bit of damage here, actually. There we go, the crit, that's what we need. Still no additional super, that's hurting us. Alright, how about on this one? There we go. Ah, still just an additional normal. All right, excellent. Really? All right, nice, and we get our third turn of giant form. Okay, maybe we can make up for it here. Grab that, we'll grab that. Ooh. Okay, well, we'll get two 18 keys at least. Again, could really use those additional supers right about now. Additional normal. There we go, we got one. <laughs> That's the hidden potential activating right there. So, you know, at, you know, with, with additional dupes in him, we actually have a chance to, uh, rock three supers per giant form. <laughs> Whether or not that actually ever happens is a different story, though. All right, here we go. Last attack in the giant form. So we actually did quite a bit of damage to him. We'll, we'll take that. All right, can we sneak in a third? Yeah, there we go. All right, so we actually did get two additional supers, although both were the hidden potential, funny enough. Okay, cool. We did pretty much half his health. We'll take that. <sighs> All right. Wow, okay, there are a lot of attacks in slot one. Hmm. Okay, well, we have to keep him on rotation per the challenge, so... We'll do this. We'll do this. This Goku is fully built up. Huh. Alright, we're, we're gonna go ahead and waste it up. I, I'm not risking this. I, this is what? Try number seven? Number eight? Something like that? <laughs> um, I'm not quitting here. Um, so we'll just, we'll use the Whis. We'll make sure. I mean, we'd still probably die to a super, pre-super, but I mean, at least we can take the normals. Because he takes 150k per normal. And even Vegeta, on this rotation, if we only get a double super, uh, we're screwed. Vegeta will take that hit not very well. We do manage to proc the double super though, very nice. All right, and Piccolo coming in with the 18 key, or the 12 key rather. There we go, perfect. Okay, and now all that's left is for World Tournament Goku to finish off the next rotation. Although do we do have Beast Gohan's active skill actually, we could totally use that. Alright, let's go ahead and let's do it. Guess it's my turn. Special Beam Cannon!
Wow, five mil. That's actually not too bad, considering we only got two supers for him. Oh, crap. We did not mean to do that. Well, I mean, he'll still get his additional attacks, actually, for being attacked. So, you know what? That's not too bad. Uh, yeah, there we go. We have our guard active because we're type advantage, so we don't even need to worry about the revive. Can we actually do enough damage here? Uh, we might, actually. There we go. Okay. Not actually not quite. Yeah, we really need that revive. <laughs> I mean, we're still doing all right. Though. But he barely survives. Okay, well, we got the Dokkan mode with Gohan. Even though we've only got 12 key, it is effective against all types. Um, but, I mean, he's dead here. <laughs> so we actually did it. Hooray. <laughs> Try number seven, I think this is. Yeah, I think this is number seven, right? Because we had two attempts... Two days of attempts at six. Said this is the first attempt on day three. So yeah, try number seven. We actually got this, and there it is. Boom. Gohan finishes it off for us. Excellent. So there you have it. There is the challenge run issued to us by um, our friend Greg Daw. Um, I'm again surprised we actually could pull this off, right? Even I myself was skeptical that, you know, the Limit Breakers could work off the Heroes team, especially under Goku's full power lead, because full power is a wonky category. But hey, we made it work, and this was actually kind of fun, despite the fact that we did have to use an item. But like I said, I wasn't really trying to know item it. I just wanted to see if we could actually do the challenge, and we did. So if you're interested in trying the challenge yourself, the challenge is simple. You must use Goku um, under his full power lead, and you must keep his Vegeta passive up at all times, at least one of them. You don't have to do both, um, but at least one of their Vegeta passives up all time, which basically means having a rotation of a Goku and Vegeta, and then whatever else as long as everyone else on the team is on full power. You can use more heroes units as long as they are also on full power. Um, it's very interesting, very challenging. This was a team I came up with. I had another one using AGL Gohan and LR Cell, but it uh, gets kind of scary on the turns where Cell shows up with Goku, so uh, I don't know if that's the best one to go with, but it works. Um, so anyways, guys, that is the video. That is the challenge. If you like the video and are interested in trying the challenge yourself, Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let me know. Are you going to try the challenge? If you did try the challenge, what team did you use or what team are you thinking of using? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, guys, as always, thanks for watching and aloha.